This is Figma's new multi-edit feature in action. You can select multiple elements and edit them all at once. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. We're serving up multiple courses today, all with one common ingredient, multi-edits. This is fast food, so buckle up and get ready to eat. When you have any object selected, you'll see a new icon in the center of the top bar. Click it and every matching layer in other frames will be automatically selected. You can also use the shortcut Option Command A. That's pretty cool, right? But what can we do with that? Let's try it again on this text right here. Select one of the text layers and click the Select Matching Layers button we just learned about. Hmm, that didn't work. For this feature to work, layer names must match. Or with text, the content itself can match. Now you have a great reason to make sure you're naming your layers. Let's make sure these have the same name. Select the text elements and press Command R to open the bulk rename dialog. Type in a new name and click the rename button. Now select the first text element and click the select matching layer button again. Boom, they're all selected. When multiple text elements are selected, another new icon appears in the center of the top bar. This action is called multi-edit text. You can also press enter and just start typing. You can even manually select multiple text elements and multi-edit them without using the select matching layers functionality. That's it for our text course. Time to move on to other objects. In this example, we have a bunch of circles inside these frames. We can select the first one and press Option Command A to select the matching layers in the other frames. Let's change the color of these ones. Now select all the circles in the first frame. Let's press our Select Matching Layer shortcut again. Do you remember what it is? Now we have all the circles in each frame selected and ready for multi-editing. Let's try adding Auto Layout to the group by pressing Shift A. Did you notice what happened? Each group of objects in each frame now have separate auto layouts. Before multi-edit, these would have all joined together into a single auto layout frame. Pretty neat. Now we can select the first circle again, select all the matches, and use our arrow keys to move them all around within their respective auto layouts. Next, select the first auto layout frame and select the matches with the icon in the top center. We can use the alignment tools to move these around inside their frame. Make sure to hold down Shift so they align to the frame. Objects don't even have to share the same properties as long as their names match. Take a look at these pill shapes. Each one is a different color, rotation, and position inside their parent frames. We can still select them all to multi-edit them. With those selected, move up to the transformation area in the top right. Most of the properties say mixed. If we put our cursor at the end of mixed in the rotation property, we can add plus 45 and each pill will rotate 45 degrees from their respective rotation. We can do the same for X and Y coordinates. Hang tight, three more courses to go. There's one more handy way to select matching layers. With one object selected, hold down Shift and you'll notice the matches in the other frames get highlighted. Now you can click anywhere outside the frames and drag across all of those to select them. Notice the nested frames inside of all these. With our matches selected, start dragging them over to the nested frames. Even though the frames are different sizes, and the nested frames are in different locations, once the multi-selection enters the nested frame, they take on the same location. Let me do that again to make sure you see it. That's pretty cool. In this example, we have three frames with the Figma Bytes logo in them at different positions. Select the first one and select the matches. Press Command C to copy them. Now select these three empty frames below and press Command V to paste them. Figma understands the context and pastes each shape independently in each frame and in the same location. Let's try to paste them into a single frame. Figma will combine them and do its best to paste them all in that frame in their respective locations. If you select a bunch of frames and paste, they'll be repeated in order across the order of the frames. Alright, one last morsel. Have you ever been working on a design and end up repeating an element a few times only to realize you should have created a component? So you'd make a component and maybe use paste to replace to put instances in place for the non-components. With multi-edit, you can select all the matching layers and create a component. Since you're multi-editing, Figma will make a main component outside the selection and turn all of your selections into instances. What a time saver. That's how you multi-edit. I hope this Figma bite helps you manipulate multiple moments more meaningfully. Thanks for watching.